but sometimes you just need to get away from it all. Disconnect. Get back in touch with nature. Do things the old fashioned way. Sometimes, you just need to eat. The Blue Eddy AC60P Portable Power Station, designed to power your adventure for the road camping, and life on the go. Have you ever found yourself shooting a project that's out in the middle of nowhere? Or perhaps you're in a remote location with limited access to power for your camera batteries or your lights? Well, today we're checking out these portable power stations from a company called Blue Eddy. Black like MTV show, what is it called? Dog times. <laughs> So this company called Blue Eddy reached out to me and wanted me to review their products. And they ended up sending me a couple of their units, both this AC60P and the B80P. So this is my full, unadulterated, honest review of these Blue Eddy products, dog time style. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or even the YouTube shorts, you know that I already used both of these units on a real world shoot where we did in fact not have access to power. On that job, we were using the Blue Eddy to recharge the batteries for my Sony FX30, which was our BTS camera. We were recharging this small rig RC60 Monolite and also providing power to my big two by one cream source Dopio LED panel. That cream source pulls 450 watts of power. The small rig is a 60 watt unit and the Sony charger pulls around 20 watts. So on that particular shoot, the Blue Eddy was providing us with 530 watts of pure sine wave power, no problems whatsoever. However, we were not able to use the Blue Eddy to power my V-mount charger for my Red Komodo because that is a rapid charger that requires 1200 watts. So I do have some concerns regarding these Blue Eddy products, so you will wanna stick around till the end of the video when I go over the cons. But first, let's talk about the pros. So this Blue Eddy AC60P is the main unit and it provides 600 watts of continuous power with a 1200 watt surge. It provides both DC and AC power with two main AC outputs, two USB-A ports and one USB-C port and this cigarette lighter port that provides 120 watts. And there's even a panel on top of the unit that provides 15 watts of wireless charging for newer phones or tablets. Now, quick side note, that wireless pad is not compatible with my Apple iWatch Ultra. However, it did charge my iPhone 11. So it may be a hit or miss if it works with your wireless devices. Ultimately, the AC60P provides a total of 600 watts of continuous pure sine wave power. And the cool thing is you can output both DC and AC power at the same time. So as long as you aren't exceeding 600 watts, you could have multiple units plugged in at once. And take note, this is pure sine wave. For those of you that don't know, a pure sine wave inverter is very important for sensitive electronics. It basically ensures a clean and consistent amount of output. So take for instance, our 450 watt cream source LED panel. It has an FX mode where it can quickly do an output boost of luminance. So as soon as we tap that button on the LED light, it's going to quickly pull more power. And since the Blue Eddy has a stable power output with its pure sine wave inverter and that 1200 watt surge capacity, you're not gonna blow a fuse or damage your light. However, I would not push the limits on that. A surge capacity is not the same as a continuous maximum output. In other words, I would not recommend plugging anything into the AC60P that requires more than 600 watts of continuous power. However, a really cool feature of the AC60P is the power lifting mode. That means it can run high drain loads of less than or equal to 1200 watts, 
which is great for things like small heaters or an iron. However, that will significantly decrease the runtime of the power station overall. So that's where the B80P comes in. Now, this is an extension power pack for the AC60P, and it's going to provide you with 200 watts more of continuous power. So with both of these units connected, you now have 800 watts of pure continuous sine wave power. And what's really cool is with the addition of the B80P, you now have three more outputs of DC power. It has a USB-A and a USB-C and a cigarette lighter, which provides 120 watts. And the B80P can even be used on its own, meaning it doesn't need to be connected to the AC60P to provide its DC power. Now here's the cool part. If you look on the side of the AC60P, you can actually attach two B80Ps at once. Then you would have a consistent 1000 watts of continuous pure sine wave power. And that's pretty awesome considering how extremely portable these units are. They only weigh 20 pounds each and they have really nice top handles on them. The overall construction and build quality is really nice yet durable. Now a bonus of the AC60P is there's a really cool LED light on the back of the unit with two different brightness modes and even an SOS mode. And a fun feature is you can control these Blue Eddy units directly through the Blue Eddy app. And I would like to add the app connects immediately and works very well. You guys know how much I hate a lot of apps that are available for our electronic film devices. This Blue Eddy one is really, really seamless and well-performing. You can control all of the features of this power station completely from your phone or tablet. You can monitor the battery life, the output wattage, quickly turn AC or DC modes on or off. And there's a really cool eco mode where you can basically program the unit to limit its power on run times or create standby modes. And the unit even has three different charging modes, which you can also control via the app, standard, silent, or turbo. Talking about charging, there's also multiple ways you can charge these units. There's obviously a direct connection to an AC wall outlet, but also you can charge it with the included car charging cable, or if you have solar panels, they also provide you with solar charging cables as well. And I would like to point out that these units charge surprisingly fast. I'm talking in 45 minutes, this thing will be fully charged and ready to go, which to me is remarkable considering that it's 600 watts of portable power. Now the question of how long does it provide that much power? Well, that really boils down to however much stuff you have plugged into it. The reality is the battery pack on the AC60P alone provides 504 watt hours, which means if you're fully maxing it out, pulling 600 watts at once, it's probably only gonna last you one hour. So this is the real advantage of the B80P because it's going to add an extra 806 watt hours, which essentially is giving you a 60% longer battery life. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk price. The AC60P is currently going for 799 US dollars. And if you wanted the B80P, both of those units sell together for 1398. So it's definitely not cheap, but I will say it's a fine product. I love that the AC60P has this really nice OLED screen. And honestly, guys, the app is incredible. My only concern or con with these units is that the max output is not really all that impressive to me. I mean, even when we were prepping for the spec commercial that is at the top of this review and we were looking for props, we had to look everywhere to find appliances that were small enough that would actually work with the AC60P. Because most small appliances, like a hot plate for instance, requires around 1500 watts of continuous power. Now, I understand that we have that turbo mode with the 1200 watt surge. However, I've always been hesitant to push electronics to their limits like that. And again, that turbo mode is going to significantly drain the battery. So for a really quick short fix, it may work, but for an extended amount of time, it's just not reliable. So it's things like that that really makes me wonder who the AC60P is actually for. Because even with that B80P extension pack, you're still limited to 800 watts. Now for us filmmakers, yeah, that's actually quite a lot depending on what you wanna use it for. I mean, it's great for tiny electronics like laptops or phones and tablets, but if you're looking to go glamping with this thing, you're going to have to use some extremely small appliances. Kind of similar to like what we were using in the spec commercial. I mean, the reality is it's not going to replace something like this 1500 watt car inverter, which is what I used to use when I had a mobile detailing business here in LA. 
The flip side is, is that car inverter has to remain plugged into the car battery, obviously. Whereas these blue eddies, you can pick them up and go wherever. And here's the deal too, for us filmmakers, something like that AC60P on its own, it will easily power something like an Aperture 600D or a Forza 500. However, I wouldn't push it with something like the Forza 720. And I certainly would never think about plugging in an Aperture 1200D, even with the battery extension pack. But look, here's the reality. If you're using that Aperture 600 or Forza 500 and you got them maxed out at full 100% brightness, just keep in mind, you're only gonna get an hour out of the Blue Eddy unless you have the B80P extension pack, but even then you're only gonna get a little over double that. So what, maximum two hours and 15 minutes, two and a half hours if you're lucky. I mean, at that point, you might as well just be using V-mount batteries. It's just a pity that the Blue Eddy can't actually charge the V-mounts. Now, with that being said, Blue Eddy does offer much more powerful units. However, you will pay in price. But for all my filmmakers out there, the real reality of the situation is if you just need portable power for your media wrangler to plug their laptop into, while also charging phones or smaller camera batteries all at the same time, well then just the AC60P on its own is more than capable to handle that. That's the real deal. For anything else, you just have to pay close attention to however much wattage your electronics actually require. My only other con is I really don't like how huge the cable is that connects the B80P to the AC60P. But at the same time, I do like how long it is because then the units don't have to be necessarily right on top of each other. I just think a smarter design would have been a cable that actually lives inside the unit, you know, like an old school vacuum cleaner or something. But I imagine if they would have done that, they would have had to make the B80P significantly larger considering how fat this cable needs to be. It's just a shame because I feel like this has a lot of potential to being lost. All in all, I do think these units are awesome and really great for power outages. You could power your computer, your phones, and even your TV for quite a while on just the AC60P alone. So I do think they are excellent for smaller electronics. But for real appliances or larger electronics that require a longer extended amount of runtime, you're going to need something a lot more powerful. In other words, it's not going to replace your generators. All right, here's my final conclusion. If you're just a small solo shooter and you just need quick access to power for your mirrorless camera or your DSLR batteries or your LED lights, like a little key light or basically any light that's less than 500 watts and also your laptop, well then the AC60P alone is perfect for a portable power station. I do think it's a great addition to a DIT cart or a camera cart or even a drone cart. I've left links down below to fast track your research. I gotta give a shout out to this week's sponsor and that is The Dog Times Patreon. That's my virtual clubhouse for indie filmmakers where I provide behind the scenes and breakdown videos on the jobs I do out here in Los Angeles. The archive library over there is over 200 videos of content. Check it out at patreon.com slash Justin Phillip. Thanks for watching, but for now, that is a wrap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. That's why you gotta make your own moves. Uh -huh.